assalamu alaikum friends and welcome you to udu 13 technical course my name is mohammad yunus and i am udu technical consultant in this video we are going to talk about udu module structures first of all we will discuss what is uh, a module and what is the difference between uh, two terms which are mostly used in udu um, which is udu module and udu app so Udo module can either add brand new business logic to an Udo system or alter and extend ex existing business logic. So, for example, a, a module can add some fields to a view, or another module can create a, a totally new business logic and can add a totally new feature in Udo system, uh, which uh, is not available in Udo so uh, thus everything in Udo starts with and ends with a module so what is the difference between an app and a module Udo module is uh, just a piece of code which extend or add a new feature in Udo system while Udo app is a complete package containing multiple modules which provide us a full featured uh, application so this is just the basic difference between uh, app and uh, module so i will just explain uh, that uh, how we can uh, make a module and how we can make an app so let's just uh, take fleet module as an example to understand the structure of a module so first of all we can see the data file uh, data folder we can define uh, the demo data and uh, some configuration data uh, and uh, the data uh, file format should be an XML file. So uh, we define uh, all the data related XML files inside the data directory. So after that, we have uh, another directory I18N. So uh, this uh, directory is uh, for translation purposes. Uh, and uh, this directory contains all the files related to translation of uh, different languages uh, and then is the models folder which is the most important and uh, this model folder contains the business logic uh, models so what is a business logic mm, business model a business model is uh, actually a um, database class so it is defined uh, as uh, different python files are defined inside the um, models uh, directory uh, and it contains one init file in the init file we uh, import all the uh, python um, file so this model file should be imported in the init file uh, which is uh, located inside the module uh, after that we have, can see the security directory security in the inside the security directory we define uh, XML and CSV file formats files uh, and uh, in this directory uh, we define the security related to this uh, module you will understand uh, in more detail in the upcoming videos so uh, we uh, another file another directory is static um, in this directory uh, we also have sub directories like descriptions and uh, images uh, so in static directory we define our CSS uh, related CSS files and JavaScript files and also some XML templates so we can define the um, images and uh, icons uh, related to website or uh, our module so these all uh, type of things uh, can be defined in the static directory and uh, then we have the views uh, directory inside the views directory we define all the views uh, which display the uh, business um, models data so uh, it contains an init file which is uh, a mandatory file and uh, inside the init file we need to uh, import 
the directory which contains the business models like uh, this um, models directory contains all the python files so we must uh, import this directory inside the init file and uh, then the manifest file the manifest file contains uh, all the information related to this module for example name of the module uh, version uh, which is not mandatory uh, sequence which is not mandatory category uh, website and all the different formation uh, and uh, dependencies uh, it is also defined in this uh, file like uh, this module depends on base and mail modules these are uh, the Udo modules and this file also contain the data uh, so whatever data we defined here like in the data directory and xml so whatever xml files we have defined we must uh, import it here otherwise it will not uh, loaded into the database and then uh, we have this uh, attribute application and installable if we set installable true then we can install it if we set it as false uh, then uh, we will not be able to install it uh, so application tribute means that whether this uh, an application or um, a module so if we, uh, we set it as a true then it means that uh, it is uh, an application but if we set it uh, false then this means that uh, this is just a module not a an application so by default this feature is uh, false thank you for uh, watching this video uh, please subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed it already